Filipowski takes the ball down the floor off an Isaac McNeely miss. He tries to get post position on Jordan Minor. He ducks inside. He misses. He grabs his own rebound and scores. And that's big. I like the initial surge. And Duke has a quick numbers advantage here. Minor comes back to defend. Filipowski has the switch on Beekman and takes advantage. Every team in college basketball is better off of a made shot when you get your defense back and get set. They may be dramatically so, though. The slowest tempo team in America, and they get a basket from Ryan Dunn on the lob from Reese Beekman. You had an easy 28 time to get at Pittman High School. Yeah, exactly. High Proctor, school. little oopsie daisy. Tyrese Proctor in the lane, and Duke has scored on its opening four possessions. You want to know that they could come and, and in a way be showcased. That's an easy one. Oh, it was through. an easy one, and then Dunn oh, missed it. He missed two, in fact, and Beekman nearly had a third assist. Filipowski against the freshman Blake Buchanan. Terrific find for Proctor. All set up by Mitchell Cutting. Caleb Foster's out again today. They've had some nagging injuries here and there. Have not been full strength for much of the year as Beekman wraps around and scores his first basket. They've had problem establishing a lineup, and John Shire said establishing role definition. Yep. Filipowski going to work on Buchanan, and he muscles it in with a left. An early six for Filipowski. A rebound for Tyrese Proctor. Slashing into the lane. Here's Filipowski for three. Coach K court the dominance over the last few decades. And you're not just playing against the players on the floor. It's almost like you're playing against the history of players that have come before these guys. And I think that all adds to what makes this place special. John Shire has been playing much bigger the last couple of games without Caleb Foster. As Filipowski on the deck, squirted it to Roach. Little tic-tac-toe with Stewart. Toe? Is this what you called it? Uh -huh. Maybe a little ping-pong, give and go. What do we want to call it? Either way, transition's been a problem, and Duke continues to roll. Right now, Wake's leading by nine at Virginia Tech, which would be a terrific win for Steve Forbes' group. Here's Jeremy Roach. First miss three of the game for Duke, and it's right into the hands of Stewart. And Dante Harris's first shot is one he'd like to forget. Filipowski from Proctor in the lane. Filipowski. Well, let her fly. They go in. Good luck. That's Stewart. Nice. Terrific find. Filipowski's got 13, and Sean Stewart playing really good minutes, a freshman in the first it's half. on the game. I, it's been a master class. All five involved in the action. That's really difficult to defend. I don't care how good you are defensively. Roach. Tough shot it goes for Jeremy Roach, who has been a Cavalier crusher in his career. You can play to individual strengths, and it's really tough to cover. And even Ryan Young getting after it down low in the row. Wow, man. Wow. With tenths of a second remaining on the shot clock. And, and you look, there's two guys covering the basketball. You just have to make yourself present. And where you're present, where, where you should be present is where you can get a catch. This is game 151 in the career for Ryan Young. And he hasn't played a ton this season, but you think he'll be a big part for them down the stretch, right? It was big right there as he gave it to Mitchell for the easy two. Active eyeballs, kind of feeling the game, makes the right play. A lot more minutes for him and Stewart in the first half with Caleb Foster out. Mitchell again, he's got seven in the first half. Dunn deflected it there. Here's Power. Got it on the rim. In a sea of waving hands. What about uh, Andy Katz, who's right in front of him? Look out, Philip Pusky. And here's one of them yeah. from Kyle Filipowski. You got really excited about this one. I almost was talking through it. McCain had Mitchell alive on the baseline for a moment. McNeely swats it in the air right to Roach. Back to Proctor. Good for three. They're four for 22. He's hit two field goals. He's assisted the other two. Here's Dunn. Mm. Dunn gets free. A screen for Buchanan, and Ryan Dunn smashes the first Virginia field goal. He's going to be the guy that it's not really going to get passes taken away. And if you don't, you're playing four on five the whole night. Here's McCain hanging and hitting. And a freshman, Jared McCain, the likely ACC freshman of the year, is on the board. McCain just scored. A little too far for Filipowski. Will back into Groves. is a big advantage on him physically, and yet Groves has a block shot, only his seventh of the year. 
Look, even if Virginia's down big, and even if their odds of winning this game are insurmountable as McNeely hits a three, the second half really matters because the net takes yes. margin of victory into account. Rarely do they see a half like this. A three for the corner is oh, good boy. for Proctor, and Duke starts the second half where it left off of the first. You're, you're not getting to the free throw line. You're not the aggressor, uh, and you're not working through progressions and options within what you do offensively. That's good defense. Two blocks for Dunn. He ties up Filipowski on the second. That's a tall task, but better ball movement's going to make it even tougher to defend, and I love that he has just shot that shot. Good for that? him. They've been sagging so much at this point. I love when people are like, how is he so open? I'm like, uh, by design. That's why. Roach. A tough angle shot off the right foot. Jeremy Roach, a four-year starter. Beekman penetrating. Wraps it around to Jordan Miner. Merrimack transfer. Beekman alone in the corner. And back-to-back -back threes for Virginia. But you got to do it early where you establish what you're going to call and it's up to the players to adjust to it. Beekman driving it into Mitchell. Reese Beekman's got a dozen in Virginia. Much better offensively to start this half. Nothing to lose at this point. Mitchell inside against Miner. Position for Mark Mitchell. And he's the third Blue Devil in the double figures. Something you have to adjust to throughout the course of the season. Here's a steal. Off the hands of Dunn. Into the hands of Roach. Here comes Proctor with a jam. Defensive end, they're able to make things happen, including this, right? Breakout plays. Congratulations to Elijah Crispin and the boys. My boy Ronnie Myers, the head coach. My dad's a volunteer assistant and superintendent. So congratulations, boys. That's fun stuff. Now, like five. Joe, Carly, Elijah, you. My dad. Here's Buchanan over Philip Pasquier. Here's a nice finish for the freshman Blake Buchanan from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. There's, and I appreciate your perspective on this, there's fun. There's safety. Can we do both at the same time? I think we yes, can. We as can. Dunn stuffs it in and gets Virginia back within 21. I'm people's not, opinions not, have changed a week yeah, later. Early, when it course. happens in the moment, people have a tendency to react. And can we think about this? Can conferences think about this? Can schools put together a plan as Filipowski finishes? Filipowski having a fantastic game, by the way. 17-6 and six tonight. As Duke is all over UVA, and gets a steal from McCain. It's McCain left-handed for his second basket. I would love to be the team that says, yeah, we expect to win, but the reality is I played basketball for Penn State. So. <laughs> That's not nice, but it is true. Filipowski finishes again. He is dominating this front line. That position is seal position for a feed in the post, but it's also a rebounding position where he's been very present. Rody throws it right into the hands of Sean Stewart, <laughs> who then loses it back. Beekman off the steal, and Beekman will score. Well, Beekman has tremendous instincts. He's, already, oh, he's also been very well coached, and that's a great find for McNeely in transition. UVA does not get a lot of transition baskets, and they're going to take a timeout to kind of control this thing, slow it down a little bit, down 22. You can go small and play him as a big. I mean, there's so many dynamic lineup options that, that John Shire has, and a lot of that centers around Kyle Filipowski. There's a three for T.J. Power, the freshman from Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. I think that's something that the Duke program still, still showcases. Turn around for Proctor, boy. Duke has hit some open shots, and Duke has hit some contested shots. Have fun, kind of explore some things, including a trap here. Beekman passes it across the entire length of Durham to set up Groves for a three. <laughs> you strike me as more of the equestrian type. Yeah, totally. Murray has completely smothered. Filipowski knocks it away. That is a shot clock violation. Fire safety code. How many of them are jammed into the bleachers there? Mitchell deflected away by Dunn, his fourth block shot of the game. We talked to shoot around about how hard it is to guard the flare screen, re-screen yes. Virginia does so well. We haven't seen them have well, a lot of success tonight with it. I think part of it's, wow, McCain. They're going to count it. Okay, uh, Wake Forest, a week ago, as we all know, beat Duke, stormed the court. Everything's great. Nearly it's a shot. Wake Forest going to the NCAA tournament. Young going to work on Groves, back rim. And it's up for grabs. It's saved by Blake's Stewart, smothered and rejected by Jake Groves. 27 at the under four. That's why Reese Beekman's still out there. McNeely, Dunn. Harris with a three, no good. Rebound tipped out to Beekman. We'll drive it into Young, and he will finish 15 for Reese Beekman. 
5 8 wearing the double nickels. That's is awesome. right. He hit a three against Louisville Wednesday. The crowd went bananas. TJ Power will hit his second three. Number 32 in the country coming out of high school. Freshman for Massachusetts. There's a three for Beekman, who's up to 18 for UVA. Hubbard, every time he touches the ball, they're going to lose their minds in the Kevin Crazies. There's Young into the body of Groves. Young finds Stewart. He finds the rim ferociously. One more time. I mean, this is just pure vert. You know. What a win this is for Duke. It is. And what a statement of intent going into the final week of the regular season. 73-48 the final.